Coming up on Around Kern County, we're hiring and looking for you to join our team. We're sharing details on our upcoming career expo and how you can get involved. And while it may be blue skies, following this week's storm, the fire department wants to make sure you're in the know when it comes to future emergencies. Their new tool, keeping our community connected, when around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. Earlier this week, our region was hit with record-breaking rain as Tropical Storm Hillary touched down in Southern California, beating a more than 80-year record. And even though we're seeing blue skies today, our Kern County Fire Department and other local agencies worked diligently to protect our residents across our county earlier this week as heavy rain hit our region, especially in our mountain and desert communities. From road closures to evacuation orders, the fire department wants to use this incident to remind residents the importance of staying connected. We know emergencies are always going to happen. This is just the most recent weather-related emergency that our community has seen. So it's important for individuals to take personal responsibility, and that is to make sure that they're prepared in practical ways with supplies, go bags, batteries, flashlights, all of these things in advance. But they need to stay in tune with what's happening. And to do so, they need to be able to receive emergency notifications, and they receive those through readykern.com. They can sign up at readykern.com. And another thing our community will benefit from is a new evacuation management tool that we are now using. So individuals are encouraged to go to protect.genesis.com and find out what zone they live in. And it's very simple, just go to the search bar, put your address, and it will pull up the zone that you reside within. So this evacuation management tool helps us to communicate faster and it helps the community to be able to respond faster to those notifications. When this storm came through, we started encouraging individuals to visit currentemergencies.com. On that one location, they were able to follow how many personnel were assigned to this incident, when the incident started, the affected communities, any road closures, any evacuation notices, and any resources that were available to them. So we encourage individuals to bookmark this site, currentemergencies.com, and if we know that there's another significant emergency like this, the French fire, whatever it might be, we know that individuals are going to be following what's going on with this for multiple days. It's going to affect them. It's a one-stop shop for them to get all the information they need. Now, KCFD is assessing the damages across our county as a result of this storm. To learn more about how to safely return home after a weather event like this, next steps, or to view other helpful information, just visit kerncountyfire.org. There's less than one week left to pay your unsecured Kern County property tax bills. This is payment for items such as business or farm equipment, aircrafts, boats, or similar assets that are not attached to real estate. Unsecured property tax bills were mailed out on July 11th to property owners whose addresses are known to the Kern County Assessor Recorder and who had ownership of personal property as of January 1st, 2023. Taxpayers can make their payments in person, by mail, or online. To avoid a 10% late fee, bills must be paid on or before August 31st, 2023. And if you haven't received your bill, you can request a replacement or ask for the amount you owe by calling 661-868-3490 or by emailing the Treasurer Tax Collector at ttc at kerncounty.com. For more information on how to make a payment, just visit the Treasurer Tax Collector's website at kcttc.co.kern.ca.us. If you're looking for a meaningful career where you can make an impact right here in our community, then look no further than Kern County. On Saturday, September 16th, you'll get a chance to get to know our workforce at our Kern County Career Expo. From nine in the morning until one in the afternoon, We'll be stationed at our County Administrative Center at 1115 at Truxton Avenue in Bakersfield. From public safety to social work, there's a place for you and your skills on our team. 
Well, I've worked for the county for almost 16 years. It's hard to believe I look young, uh, but it's been a rewarding experience. Uh, you really get to serve your community that you live in. And whether you work in the sheriff's office as a deputy sheriff or a social worker for our human services department, there's so much that we offer anybody looking for a career in public service. Uh, there's never a dull moment in, in uh, county government and working to serve your community. As public servants, our nearly 8,000 employees dedicate their time to making our community a better and safer place. In just a few weeks, you can get to know our dozens of departments and even take an on-the-spot interview. We'll also be testing for positions within the Sheriff's Office at 9.30 a.m. in the third floor conference room. For more information about this event, please visit our website, kerncounty.com. And we're ending today with a new look. Over the last year, our county departments have rebranded to reflect the Kern County K. With dozens of new logos, every department brand was tailored to reflect the values of each individual agency and the important services they provide. Now, while you're used to seeing this Kern County logo, it's now a part of our department logos, so we can have a cohesive look to better reflect our variety of resources available to residents. Our Kern County brand was adopted by the Board of Supervisors in 2017 based on a series of polling within our region to determine how residents think and feel about the place they call home. We found it takes grounded ambition and boundless energy to drive the world's fifth largest economy. From the new slogan at Public Health to the child support logo reaching for the stars, we are so proud to have each department under the same umbrella, amplifying our mission of exceeding expectations of the communities we serve, changing the way they feel about government, those who manage it, and the services it provides. Thank you to our many departments for embracing the brand and being accessible, innovative, and resourceful in this process. Now, the next time you interact with any of our county departments, be sure to check out our new look. You don't want to miss it. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.